Multi-touch input can be intuitively used for direct manipulations. However, it can be very difficult to operate traditional interface elements using this input modality. To alleviate this difficulty, we present techniques for emulating mouse functionality using multi-touch input. We use a multi-touch display which is capable of sensing up to five points of contact. To fully support mouse functionality, we introduce a tracking state which controls the position of the cursor without causing a mouse down event. Here the tracking state is controlled with one finger. To minimize occlusion, the tracking state could also be controlled with two fingers. Traditionally, the mapping from finger to input point is direct. However, in exploring the possible design space, we also explored offset, scaled, and relative input mappings. With momentary activation, the button down and up events correspond to when the finger presses and releases on the screen. With toggle activation, a finger press toggles the state of the button. Our goal was to support the left, right, and middle mouse buttons. There are a number of possible ways to distinguish between buttons. Cording is based on the number of fingers which are down. Once in the tracking state, the user can place one, two, or three fingers down to access the three buttons. Another technique is to determine the button based on which side the pressing finger is relative to the tracking finger. Left could be mapped to the left button, right could be mapped to the right button. With two finger tracking, this could be used to simulate left, middle, and right buttons. The distance from the tracking finger could also be used to distinguish between left, middle, and right buttons. Finally, we explored the use of gestures to access the different buttons. Tapping executes a left mouse button. A stroke to the left executes a middle mouse button. A stroke to the right executes the right button. Through systematic investigation of this design space, we arrived at the SD mouse which uses a combination of side and distance button recognition, momentary activation, an offset mapping, and a single finger tracking state. The index finger is used for tracking. Pressing to the left of the index finger activates the left mouse button. Pressing to the near right activates the middle button. And pressing to the far right activates the right button. Here we demonstrate the full functionality of the SD mouse in an actual graphical user interface. We believe the SD mouse will be a valuable tool for the future use of multi-finger input systems.